All right, guys, welcome back to the Everton career mode on FIFA 22. It's the Sun of Scotland 90 Chiano, and we're ready for our second match of the Premier League campaign. In the first game at Goodison Park at home, we lost. Yeah, but we, we lost. It's a familiar story, but unfortunately, I'd love to lie and tell you that we won 10 0, but we didn't. We lost, and uh, we played all right, but the problem is playing all right. On ultimate difficulty isn't enough to get you a win and in the first game it wasn't enough to get us a win as we fell to a 3-2 defeat against Southampton but who knows uh, we're taking on Leeds away now at Ellen Road obviously Leeds score for fun so I'm expecting a tough game but last season in the Premier League everyone actually had really good away form it was at home they couldn't win so that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to plan out that way for us but I'm trying to get ourselves confidence I'm trying to say anything that might you know build us with a bit of a uh, you know, about how it gives us a bit of faith that we can actually go on a run now. So our next two games in the league are away. Hopefully our away form is good, unlike the home form. And maybe, just maybe, we can get off with our first win of the season here. Anyway, there's the main man to watch apparently today. Rafinha for Leeds, the 24-year-old, is um, obviously a danger man. Always is a threat in front of goals. To be, to be fair... A lot of the Leeds players are a threat in front of goals, especially when you've got our defence in front of them. Um, but yeah, they were shaking hands. I'm hoping it's not this friendly though, when the whistle blows. We made a few changes, you can see that probably Gomez and Gray are coming. Uh, most noticeable, there's Calvert-Lewin there at the end. I um, would prefer a better game from him. Didn't think he done that much to be honest, he didn't impress me overly in the opening game. So hopefully he can impress me. A wee bit more here, so we've got police, we've got Stuarts. Maybe they're expecting a bit of trouble today, we don't know. But there's, there's the uh, the Leeds team. Obviously Scotland International, Liam Cooper in there. Calvin Phillips just sitting in front of the defence. Um, Jack Harrison's in there. Then obviously up front you've got Rodrigo. So I mean, while Leeds are play good as a team, individually I don't think they're that great. So I will say that, I think we're definitely superior. Player by player, individually, we have a far better team. Like I said, Andre Gomez coming in to partner the Corey this game. I, I didn't feel like Alan was at his best to give away a penalty, you know, he wasn't that good. Uh, Damari Gray coming in for Awobe, and we've also got Holgate coming in in place of Godfrey. Who I thought done alright in the opening game, but he's just lacking sharpness there. So, I know the only way to get sharpness, match sharpness, is to play. But I feel like uh, it's a big game here. I'd rather go with the guy that's shown... More fitness, more match sharpness, and that guy was Holgate. So here we go. We'll be going from right to left here in this match against Leeds. They'll be going from left to right. And we'll start off not bad here. Passing the ball about Wells. Gomez, Rodriguez, doesn't take the best touch, but manages to salvage the situation. Finds the Maddie Gray, who tries to come inside for Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin going all the way back to Holgate. Holgate up to Decore. Decore gets a bit of space, takes a shot. It flies over the bar. I think the Leeds keeper had it covered, the Corey not too happy with himself, you can see the frustration in his face there, probably thinks he should have hit the target, and you know what, perhaps he should have, but it's nice to see him showing a bit of passion there, the Corey trying to find Gray, he does find Gray, now it's Damari Gray, Damari Gray looking to cut inside here, still Damari Gray, still Damari Gray, oh Damari Gray, oh lovely bit of sh oh man, what is that, the run was good, the skill, the trickery was good. The shot was absolute shit, though. Not good enough. And look at that. Even Rodriguez half getting in the way of it. I can't believe Damari Grace pulled it that bad, man. Holy shit. I've never been pulled that bad on a night out, man. That was horrendous. Atrocious. And Damari Gray, maybe not justifying his starting place over a Wobie. Calvert-Lewin holds it up. Using his strength. Calvert-Lewin. Bring him down now. Come on. I dare you. It's Damari Gray. Damari Gray tries to get past his man, whips across into the back post, but Messelaire is there with the catch. But I mean, a good start for us. We've been impressive here so far. To, to Rafina, Rafina's got the pace. Oh, Pickford though, brilliant Pickford comes out, keeps us on level terms. And now maybe we can hit the counter. Damari Gray, Rodriguez, James Rodriguez. He's got a lot of space here. You can't give Rodriguez this amount of space. Surely not. Well, maybe he can. He's He's fucked that right up. Gray, still Gray. It's a lovely flick over for Gray. Damari Gray. Cuts back. Cuts back. He finds the Corey. The Corey lays off to Gomez. Gomez it to Coleman. Seamus Coleman. Coleman. Still Coleman. 
finds a cross in and it's cleared away. Ball played it to Mary Gray this time, brings it down well. Damari Gray is on the run. Rodriguez finds him. Damari Gray cuts inside. Finds Calvert Lewin at the Townsend. Townsend to Seamus Coleman. Coleman flicks it in. And Townsend goes down in the box, but I don't know if there was any contact or not. Not really looking for the penalty, but if the referees want to kindly give us one, we would gladly accept that, but I don't think it's going to happen. Poor pass there. To Phillips, I believe. It's Gomez now. Andre Gomez. Nice, oh, nice wee heel flick to Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to find uh, Calvert Lewin. It's fallen for Townsend here. Townsend trying to beat his man. He gets brought down. We will not get the throw in, though. It's going to be half time here at Ellen Road. It's 0 0, and defensively, we've been really good, even though Leeds attackers have been very pacey, very dangerous. We've managed to defend well. We haven't conceded as of yet, and we have. Had a few chances going forward. I feel like there's definitely room for improvement, but I mean, at the moment, I'm happy. This is the kind of game I was looking for, to be fair. Keep it solid at the back and just try and find that winner, you know, and win 1 0. If you keep a clean sheet, you only need one goal to win, and that was kind of the mindset I was coming in with, and at the moment, that's the way it appears to be. So let's see if we can do it in the second half. Gomez. Oh, Gomez looking for Grey. Grey brings it down. It's Tamari Grey. Damari Gray, oh, he tries to rebone it. Why? And Messler there picks it up. Oh, good defending there for the whole game. Denying Harris on the way through. Just blocks him off, really. Legally blocks him off. And, uh, yeah, Leeds not really been able to muster much up here. Out to Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin's away. Lays it off to Gomez. Ah, oh, and Gomez, too slow. Ball at his feet there and just couldn't get it fair underneath him. And we're in trouble here. It's Rodrigo again. It's the pace that Leeds have got. Oh, and it's a great save by Pickford. They've got pace, but they don't have Pickford. Pickford dives over, gets a save. He's not too happy with his team, those defenders. He thinks they've left them a wee bit stranded there, and I think they have. I mean, I don't even know if Pickford saved that. It may have hit the post. No, wait, he did. He did. I need to give him credit. What am I doing? What am I thinking about not giving him credit? I mean, it was a great save by Pickford. We can't seem to get rid of it here, though. And it's another good save by Pickford. So Leeds now coming into this motor. Uh, looks like we're going to be bringing on a Wobi here for Gray. As we look for a win. Uh, Matthias Klitsch is coming on, though, for Leeds. Richardson. Richardson. Ah, oh, shot block. DeCorey heads it down. He's been taken out there. Tom Davis, though, will get the ball. Townsend. Townsend to Coleman. To Calvert Lewin strikes it and it lands straight into a sea of lead shots in the stands. Um, I mean, Tom Davis there with a nice wee uh, step over. I mean, it's not that far away, but I can't expect that Calvert Lewin to get that on target. It's Rafina. Oh no, I mean, that is that is pure luck from Leeds there. I mean, could they have got any luckier? And no wonder he's running, he's running straight to the... the oh, it's the substitute, he's running straight to his manager, Belesi, who subbed him on there. He gives him a hog, I guess he appreciates getting brought on, but... I mean, the ball takes about 20 million deflections, gets stuck in between <laughs> about millions of legs, and it just falls through for him. And that they've been very fortunate, look at that, I mean, he got all the bounce, he got everything. Complete luck, and then he hit, hits the side net, and so, oh man, unless we can, unless we can get a goal for somewhere, it's going to be back-to-back -back defeats to start the Premiership season. Richarlison, Lewin, Richarlison, Decore, Richarlison, oh my god, it saved the game by the keeper, how is that no in? And that's it, that'll end it, Leeds. Oh, I got a winner right at the end. It's Leeds 2, Everton 0. They're celebrating in the crowd. And I don't think they deserve it. I think we limited Leeds to very little. 
but then they got they got very lucky late on. They got you know the ball. <sighs> it bounced around. It fell to them. They scored, and then that one there, they just hit us on the counter when we were left late in the game chasing that equaliser. So I mean, I don't think I don't think we deserve to lose this game. Although Pickford did pull off a couple of decent saves in the second half. Again, I think a draw probably would have been a fair result, but we ain't going to get a draw. We're going to get a defeat, and it's clutch again. So this, this, I mean, they brought on the uh, CDM with not long to go. They brought him on with about like 25 minutes to go, and he scored two goals for them. What a substitution that was. Maybe Blesser has made the better subs here. Maybe it's the managerial changes that have won leads the game. It could very well be that. As we play the ball at the Coleman, can we try and maybe get one back here? It's Holgate. Townsend. That's another save after the goalkeeper. Same old story. Keeper saves it, and with that save, he should keep his clean sheet intact. Although Leeds passing it a bit at the back here wide. They don't need to. They finally launch it up, and that is it. They have won this game. 94 and a half minutes played. It's Leeds 2, Everton 0. That will move Leeds out of the relegation zone. And the likelihood is it will put us into the relegation zone. But you can see the stats there. I, we didn't dominate the game, but I felt like we did enough to deserve not to lose it. But we've lost it. It is what it is. We've lost it. It's back-to-back -back defeats to start the Premier League season. Uh, I was looking at the fixture list, and I was actually hoping that we could start off with back-to-back -back wins. I thought we got you know, a relatively uh, easy start to the Premier League, and we just haven't taken advantage of it. And we will need to, we'll need to do something. That defeat then sees us slip into 18th place. Uh, two defeats out of two. We can see that five goals in two games. It doesn't look too good. Uh, you can also see Chelsea and Spurs both winless. Newcastle in 12th, Palace in 11th. Uh, we've got Man City 5th, Leicester 4th. Arsenal, surprise package in 3rd place. Liverpool in 2nd. And Man United in first place. So this season, I was kind of looking, I was kind of hoping to possibly challenge Liverpool and finish ahead of them. It looks like it's going to be tough already. The gap's six points. Uh, they've scored four, conceded none. Look, defensively, they're great. Defensively, we're pretty, we're pretty poor. But anyway, up next, it's Carabao Cup. We're going to change this team around a hell of a lot. I, I'm not going to take Lincoln, you know, I'm not going to... I'm obviously I'm going to take them seriously. I'm going to take them as a threat, but we we can't. We have to rest players up for this and give some of the you know the, uh, the other squad members a chance. All right, so here we go then. Big change in the lineup. Big efficient nets. Delph left back. Mina Godfrey the two centre back partnership. Kenny coming in for Coleman. Got Allen who missed out in the game against Leeds. He's going to be starting this one. He'll take the captain's armband. He'll be alongside Davis. In the middle of the field. Then we've got Awobi and Richarlison out on the wings. We've got Gilfrey Sigurdsson. Controversial figure. But you know what? We'll be singing his praises. He'll be my favourite player. If he can score a goal and get us into the next round of the cup. When we take on Lincoln City here. And up front we're going with Rondon. So here we go. I've changed the team a hell of a lot. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Let's go. And I don't believe Lincoln already. Lincoln already in the Carabao Cup taking the lead within two minutes. We gave the ball away and Lincoln, they didn't come here to play, man. They came here to win. And I think it's Scully with the goal. And they haven't wasted any time here. This guy must be decent. He's got a fucking face scan. He can't be that bad. And he's just um, he's just put uh, Lincoln ahead here. Lovely step over, flick on. Begafitch coming into nets. Couldn't they save that? I mean, Pickford wouldn't have saved that. Nate, they would have saved that. And Linkford now already at Goodison Park here. They have something to hold on to. Unreal start for them. Great save by Begovic. We could have easily been 2-0 down there. If asked me or Begovic, didn't they pull off that stop? And he's raging. I mean, look at that. His team has left him completely abandoned there at the back. And he has to save Everton. He's not happy either. Don't blame him. Corner kick coming in for Bishop. He takes it short to Adelukin. We've won it here. Now it's Delph. Can we hit on the counter? Come on. It's a Wobi. A Wobi going to try and play through. Oh my god, a Wobi. Can't even play the simple pass through the Rondon. Delph. Fabian Delph. Fabian Delph. Tries to lob it over. Rondon heads it into Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson off! 
Sigurds enforces a great save after the goalkeeper. I thought it was in. I think everybody in the arena thought it was in. He chests it down, shows great control, and then just smashes it there on the keeper. One hand it saved, denies him. It's going to be a corner. Sigurdsson to take it. Allen jumps, doesn't get it. And he's headed away there, and the chance looks like it's gone. Doesn't win the header. What the hell is that from, from uh, Lincoln there? The keeper having to chest it on his goal line. And it's Sigurdsson. Oh, and he's lost out and he slid in there like a madman. That's reckless. Jumped in like he jumped into the DMs. Shouldn't he have done that? Sigurdsson. It's Sigurdsson. Lays it off to Davis. Davis. Oh my god, Davis. What was he doing there? That's going to do it, guys. Half time. Lincoln have a 1 0 lead here at the break. And this isn't. Something we're going to do and play. Look, the chances of us winning Champions Leagues, <laughs> Premier Leagues, they aren't good. These cup competitions, the Carabao Cup and FA Cups, represent our most realistic ways of winning titles. And I don't want to go here in this early stage. No, I'm not playing a sec. This, is, this tournament means something to us, albeit we're playing a, a week inside. That doesn't mean we're not trying. As we get to the latter stages, you can guarantee I will be playing full strength teams but unless we can get a goal here in the next 45 minutes there'll be no latter stages of the Carabao Cup so we desperately need to turn this around uh, we can look at the match facts here we have not been good enough but what I would say is the longer the matches went the stronger we've got so I, I do think we can get back into the game we just need to start taking our chances when they come ball played through to Fabian Delph Fabian Delph has got away for him Fabian Delph Delph with a shot and Delph with a goal. It's a great goal for Fabian Delph. He's getting a chance at left back today. He can, he's pretty versatile. He can play where he wants and who knows. Keeps hitting shots like that. We might even play him up front. Fabian Delph then getting his back on level terms there. Just out muscling the Lincoln defender. Took a shot. Probably wasn't expecting the score for that angle. But the goalkeeper couldn't keep it out. Hard. Powerful shot, driven high. I mean, I think the goalie will be disappointed he didn't save that. But regardless, it's Delph with the goal. 7-1, Lincoln 1. We're right back in this. And just like that, just like that, Lincoln back in front. Um, we just got carried away. We got back on level terms. We thought, right, that's it. We're going to turn up. This is going to be easy now. And it was anything but easy. We've just allowed Lincoln City right back to get, uh, get back ahead and get a goal. It's... Unreal. It's a nice wee turn there, fair play to him, but we have got to take the blame. Defensively, it just was not good enough. Begovic dives, doesn't get anywhere near it. And uh, we find ourselves trailing here in this game, and we've already spoke about the importance of this game. Must win this game. And we're running out of time to do so. 40, 37 minutes remain. And Begovic has let one in here. It's Lincoln. They've made it 3-1. The ball's hit. The ball's hit directly right at Begovic. And he just can't do nothing about it. He, he gets in the way of the ball, but he doesn't stop it going in. Well, I mean, look at that. The Again, the defending poor. Begovic gets a hand on it, but he should keep that out. That's very poor for Begovic. And um, oh, it doesn't even hit his hand. It hits his like, elbow, his arm region. And now we are in real danger here of getting knocked out the Carabao a Cup. I thought we were in trouble at 2-1. We're in a hell of a lot more trouble now. Half an hour to go and we need two goals. Rondon. Still Rondon. He gets lucky there. Bounces back to him. It's out to Kenny. Kenny. Yes, come on. We've got one back. Kenny with the goal. It's 3-2. We're back in this. And it's both fullbacks with the goals. It's Kenny. And Fabi and Delph that have scored both goals in this game, which is a wee bit strange. And, and uh, we need our strikers now to step up to find a goal, or else we're still going to get knocked out here of the Carabao Cup. We're still losing by one goal to nil, and we need to find that equaliser. We need to find it soon, but Kenny there giving us a bit of lifeline, giving us a bit of hope. And uh, nice finish there from the left back, or the right back even. And who knows, could be only a matter of time before he maybe takes Seamus Coleman's spot in the main team. But it's 3-2. Right, Rondon's going off, hasn't exactly done it, so Sigurdsson, we're bringing on Damari Gray, and we're also bringing on Townsend as we try and find a goal here, we chase this game. Richarlison, out to Gray, Gray cuts inside, oh, hits it right at the keeper, 
He does win the corner though, he forces the corner. Dell for the delivery. Townsend jumps, doesn't get it. Allen brings it down, Allen strikes it, shot blocked. Allen heads it down, finds uh, Richarlison now. Richarlison. Richarlison, oh what a goal from Richarlison. He's just leveled it here. He's doing an old man walk. I don't quite understand this. The chicken dance. I don't care, you can dance what you want, mate. You could strip bollock naked and dance about. You've got you have saved us here, you've got us a goal back. It's free free now. And forget about extra time or the replay or whatever happens. We want to go on and we'll try and win this now in normal time and get away with this scare. Lovely strike there for Richarlson. and the Everton fans didn't even believe it was in. They thought it was what I thought it was in, but then Boomy proved me rang with a goal. Lovely stuff. Love to see it. Oh no! Oh, oh great save! No fucking way, man. Why is he giving a yellow card against Yeri Mina? Honestly, I, had, I didn't see nothing wrong with that challenge. I mean, he's already got the shot away. He's gave the penalty. I don't, I just do not believe it. Everyone's crowding the referee, but he ain't going to change his mind. He's, he's made his decision. And now we are relying on a save. Here's Begovic versus Scully. Scully. Goes to the right, Begovic goes to the left. And we do not have a lot of time left. Nine minutes remaining as Lincoln City go back in front here in the Carabao Cup. He just calmly finished it. Begovic went the wrong way. If, to be fair, it's not a good penalty, man. If Begovic goes the opposite way, I'm sure he saves that. Because there's no pace in it. It's not in the corner. I mean, that is easy for the keeper. If he goes the right way, he saves it 100%. But unfortunately, we didn't go the right way. And it's Anthony Skilly doing the damage. What a game he's had. Two goals today. He's been phenomenal. And he may have just fire this team into the next round of the Carabao Cup here. Richarlison. Townsend. Oh, no, Townsend again. Godfrey. Gambia. Oh, what a goal! And he's rescued it. They've played five minutes extra time. We might need those five minutes and we're going to try and get a winner. But the substitute, Gambin, with the goal. And the, the Everton fans, the Everton players are all going absolutely insane. We thought we were out the Carabao Cup. We've scored four goals and we're still not ahead, man. But time was running out there. It's not the man we wanted it to fall to. But we thought, you know what, we need to have a strike. We need to have a goal. And strike it, he did. And have a go, he did. And he's got us back on level terms here. Keeper trying to get to it. Couldn't get to it. It's in the back of the net. And now it's 4-4. Four, four, Everton 4. Lincoln City 4. What an insane game this is. So there you go. It's 4-4. Four, four. I think we're going into extra time here. This is pretty insane. Are we going to extra time? Oh no, we're going straight to penalties. Right, okay. Straight to penalties, man. This is... Oh man, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Fight penalty shoot. Lincoln City versus Everton. Here we go. First one, Damari Gray. We're just going to maybe aim right down the middle here. Damari Gray. Oh no. We went down the middle. The keeper didn't move. He saves it. Now it's Maguire versus Begafitch. And Begafitch goes the right way. So one penalty each taken, and it is 1 1. Or 0 0 even. Same shit, basically. Here we go, Townsend. And Townsend puts it right into the top bins. I don't think any keeper would be saving that, to be fair. Now it's Scully against Begafitch. He's had a great game. He scores his third goal. It may be a penalty. Might not count it as a hat trick, but it's a, it's, it's a great performance from him nonetheless. Fabian Dell. Fabian Dell puts it to the left, goes past the keeper, sends him the wrong way. And now we're 2 1 up here in the penalty shootout. Oh, we've been shipped. It's 2 2 now. A Wobi. Awobi, I mean, we need Awobi to stand up here big time for us. Awobi, oh, right into the top bins, in off the post. In off the post, great uh, goal there for Awobi. Oh, Begafitch saves it with his legs. So now we have a chance. It is going to be Rich Allison here to try and fire Everton into the next round of the Carabao Cup. He does, and it's into the left-hand side, and it's a goal with this. 4-2, we've done it in the end. I don't know how we've done it. Somehow we've came from behind to win that game. Absolutely insane. I thought we almost had the banana peel that is Lincoln City. 
But we've done it, we've done enough. Was it great? No, it wasn't. It was anything but great. But in the end, sometimes only the only thing that matters is the W. We got the W in this stage, in this game, and we move into the next round where we will surely need to be a hell of a lot better. And to be honest, I mean, I don't even know if we will we'll play the kids. I think I think the right team won, but I do feel sorry for Lincoln because they played great there and they didn't deserve to, you know, I think they deserved... I don't think they deserved to lose, but at the same time, neither did we. So it was one of those games somebody has to lose and I'm just glad it wasn't us. Oh, so we've drawn Crystal Palace in, in the Carabao Cup for an away tie. We might have to field a bit of a stronger side than that one since we're against fellow Premier League opposition. But speaking of Premier League opposition, it's now time for another Premier League game. This time we'll be taking on Brighton. They are bottom of the table, dead last. We're both on zero points. Someone has to win it. I'm hoping it's going to be us. Here we go then, match against Brighton, we're going with Pickford in nets, Degney, Keane, Holgate, Coleman in the back four, Allen and Decore uh, reuniting their centre midfield partnership. We've got Gray, Richarlison and Townsend in front of those three and then obviously Calvert-Lewin up front. Brighton, pretty impressive strike force, a Welbeck and Malpai, so we'll need to be defending at our absolute top game. If we're going to deny those two, let's get stuck in. Right guys, here we go. I honestly don't know who picked these two colours, but whoever it was deserves to be shot. Can barely see who's who. It's like 22 players in the same team, so I don't know how this one's going to go. Calvert-Lewin then spins around, runs towards the... T and he just loses it, walks straight into... He thought it was an Everton player and he walked right into him. Went to give him a hug and he lost the ball. Unreal stuff here. Richarlison, it's Townsend, Townsend into Dow. Calvert-Lewin, Calvert-Lewin. Calvert Lewin strikes it off the pot off the crossbar. Well, I was almost broke the crossbar. That was a bullet strike. The keeper would not have saved that, and Calvert Lewin there denied a, pretty much a wonder goal by the woodwork. Oh no! I don't believe it. I do not believe it. As Decore he slid down in the box. I wasn't even controlling Decore. The like AI has just caused Decore to launch into a challenge here. And that, yeah, that's a blatant penalty. There's no doubt in my mind there that it is a penalty. And it's going to be Pickford versus, I believe, Mapai. The Brighton fans are praying. I'm going to pray also. It's Pickford Mapai. Oh, and he puts it into the right hand side. And Brighton here take the lead. 20 minutes in, Mapai with the penalty. Stupid for Decore to give it away. But, like, what can you do? I literally wasn't even controlled the guy, so. I can't really jump the screen and prevent the guy. I can't physically stop him from making a tackle. If he tackles him and I'm not controlling him, I'm like, what the hell can I do? But my pie, you know, nice finish right in the corner there. Good penalty. 1 0 Brighton. Ball through to Dominic Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin! Oh my god! Keeper Sanchez just about gets something on it, enough to get it over the bar. Oh man, cannot believe we haven't leveled up there. Townsend with the delivery from this corner. Head of the way is going to be Allen to drop back, collects it. Plays it to Coleman. Coleman into Richarlison. Coleman. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Ah, I can't believe we've done that. <laughs> Had the ball passed into a perfect position and we, we, we decide to not shoot. Unreal. Richarlison. Trying to time the run here. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Is away, Dominic Calvert Lewin here. Is away. Is Dominic Calvert Lewin in towards Decore? Decore makes up for the penalty that he could see that he heads it in just before half time. Jumps onto the stand, celebrates there with the team. He did give away the penalty, but he has got as an equaliser just before half time. Uh, good run by Dominic Calvert Lewin. We could have shot there from that angle, but it was always going to be tough. And instead, we just chipped a wee ball over. Decore was running in. He met it with his head. Easy finish for him. Just has to place it there. Fish just direct into the corner, man, away from the keeper. And it's going to be a goal 10 times out of 10. And that's exactly what he's done. Everyone back in this game. 1-1. One, one. Coleman. Townsend again. Townsend this time. Spins around. Finds Richarlison. Richarlison. Oh, space opens up for him. Richarlison. Oh, what a goal! From Richarlison, man, he's done it. He's absolutely banged it in. For about and he's doing this old man chicken dance again. I don't, I don't get this. I might stop. I might stop scoring goals. But if he's going to keep celebrating like that, I don't want to see it anymore. 
That, that makes me sick. I want to see these strikes for shells, and I don't want to see those shitty <laughs> celebrations, but what a strike it is, man. What a strike it is. We know he can hit them, and he's just proven that. His left foot going right through the ball, and the keeper there, Sanchez, almost got to it, but even if he did, I don't know if he'd have got enough on it there to keep that out. That was a great strike. It's 2-1 Everton. Damari Gray. Damari Gray. Damari Gray through it to Calvert-Lewin. He spins around. He gets a shot away. Oh, it's a goal. It's great to Calvert-Lewin. He squeezed it in. He was persistent. Didn't take the opportunity when it first arrived. He, he created a better one for himself. A better opening. Created more space. He's banged that in. And it is 3-1 Everton. Here comes Off the, ah, off the post, thought we'd kept it out, Brighton, find a way back with about 10 minutes to go, just made a bunch of substitutions and Brighton are not holding back here, they grab the ball, they're going to try and, go try and find an equaliser, but we, we, we really have ourselves to blame there, give the ball away, kept giving the ball away, should have cleared it, tried to play it for the back, it was being stupid, and uh, paid the price for it, and the rain is pouring down now, so I don't know if that's going to affect this. And after the post, though, thought we almost would have been able to keep it out there, but nah, it just crossed the line. Brighton, free kick here, couple of minutes by time. Basuma looks to wipe it out, he has. It's going to be Coleman to get rid of it. No way! Oh, Pickford with the save! Pickford, and it's still not away yet. What the fuck is happening here? With Coleman, who can finally drag the ball out. But I'd, I honestly thought Brighton had scored there. I'd have been absolutely sick. They might still score. We've lost the ball coming forward. Coleman. Should have did better there. It's gross. Plays it to Jorgen Lucadia. Oh my god, he beats his man. It's Lucadia against Keane. Oh, he's just spun Keane around. Gambine has to get that in a Pickford with a diving save, and that is going to do it. That is going to do it there. We hung on in the end to grab a well deserved win, but Brighton certainly made us work for it in the end there. The uh, obviously the home fans, the home team will not be happy, but we got a first win in the season, so we will definitely be happy. Thought we deserved the win in all fairness, and we got it. So happy with that. Um, yeah, we we did go one 0 down, thanks to a penalty, but we, we played well. We responded really well, and we got three goals back. We took a three one lead, then we could see that goal late on, and then you thought the curse was in. You thought we were going to draw it three three, but we decided to. I don't know. We fought hard. We got the win. It wasn't the prettiest game in the world, but three points, just like the last game against Lincoln, getting the win. Here we got the win. And that's what really matters. So we've had a two-week break-off since that win against Brighton, and we're hoping we get back to winning ways. It's two in a row if you include the win in the Carabao Cup in extra time with the penalty kick shootout, and we'll be looking to make it free when we take on Burnley this week when we're at home. Back to Goodison, looking to win our first home game of the season in the league. You see the league table, we've got Leeds above us, Chelsea, West Ham, Watford, Newcastle, who have all played four games. So we could win a win over Burnley, potentially. Well, there's no potential about it, in fact. We will move into the top half of the table, and depending on how much we win by, we could move up as high as eighth place. So beating Burnley will be the goal. Hopefully, that's the question. Can we beat Burnley? I hope we've got the right answer. There's only one way to find out, though, that's to tune into the next episode. That's for this episode, guys. If you can leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, positive, man. We lost the first couple of games, but it looks like we're beginning to turn things around. If we can get Rochelson and Dominic Calvert-Lewin in the same team, both scoring goals, then I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really good season for us. But we need to stop conceding. We need to stop giving away dodgy penalties. And, uh, yeah, if we cut that shit out, things will be looking good. That's it, guys. Till next time. Peace.